What about speaker cable impedance? Wow, what about it? <laughs> Sam in Long Beach is asking me, he says, Hi, Paul. I recently bought a new speaker cable. It sounded a bit muffled compared to my old speaker cable. When I measured the DC resistance, I noticed they are much higher than my old cable. Three to four ohms. Yikes. My question is, what's the typical speaker cable resistance? What should it be? And what is, are the effects of a higher cable resistance? Love your videos, Sam. Well, I mean, I got to tell you, look, here's, here's, a, uh, here's an ohmmeter. I don't know if you, can you see that. So when, when, we, when we want to measure impedance, we use this little guy. And uh, boy, I don't know. Can, See, this says, uh, if you can see it, it says overload. And then if we tie these two things together, it comes down and it's reg registering 0.2 ohms, okay? And if you take the average cable, let's, do we have an average cable around here? See how it prepared? Here, look at this. Here's speaker cables right here. All right. So, arr, these are, well, these aren't going to be very good, are they? Because they are. See if we can get a hold of it here. Um, these are speak ons, and we can. Yeah, let's see over here. Okay, so this speaker cable, while it's short, is measuring 0.3 ohms. Now it's it's a shorty, um, and that's about right. I mean, it's wire, so wire, uh, just a a, a decent. S uh, set of wire should measure in the milli ohms, well below an ohm. Okay, if it's measuring three to four ohms, that's a resistor. Yeah, you, you either a <laughs> your your meter isn't reading it right, or b you I don't know what you got there. I don't know who would sell a speaker cable that had impedance or resistance built into the cable. That's just not right. So I, I would take those back and complain because, so, oh, and your other question is, what will it do? Well, here's a little basic um, electrical business with, with resistors. If you have a, let's just call it a four ohm speaker cable, and for whatever reason this cable is measuring four ohms, that's a resistor. It is resisting the electrical current going through it. And we can measure that resistance and call it 4 ohms, which is no different than if we had a 4 ohm resistor. So if we have a 4 ohm speaker and a 4 ohm resistor, something's going to happen. So what happens? If you take two 4 ohm or any ohm resistors, two equal impedance resistors, right? And these resistors have the, the exact same resistance. I don't care what it is. So let's just call it four ohms for the moment. And you stack them one on top of the other. One side goes to ground, which in this case would be our minus terminal. And the other side of the, the, uh, the top of our, of our series, and they're tied together in the middle, right? Um, this is What's, what's, what's happening here is a little voltage comes out from our meter. This meter puts out a little bit of voltage, and that voltage is now going to run through those resistors and come out at the bottom here, okay? So what will happen is if you try and, um, uh, if, and, and if we start, work, depending on how we measure it, um, you'll get half the voltage, okay? So equal resistors cut voltage in half. And that's what's happening in your case. So if you have a 4 ohm speaker and a 4 ohm resistor and you're putting out, say, 10 volts going into your, let's, you have 10 volts coming out of your amp going into your 4 ohm speaker, it's going to produce X, if you have the watts, it's going to produce X amount of sound coming out of here. If I put a 4 ohm resistor in series, I'm going to take that 10 volts and what's going to actually hit the speaker will be 5 volts. It'll cut that voltage in half. And guess what? The sound is going to cut in half as well. And the worst thing is what we, when we talk about impedance in, as engineers, what we really mean is resistance that varies with frequency. Now, 
I hope your speaker cables are not some kind of network whose resistance changes with frequency because that's really bad. Now, let's say it's two ohms at this frequency and eight ohms at that frequency. Now you've got an equalizer and, and, and you don't want it. So no wonder it sounds muffled. So anyway, um, I, I, I don't know where you'd find such a speaker cable, but I thought it was fun to address that question because it'll help us all understand this electrical business a little more. And I'm always striving to help you understand stuff. <laughs> a little more than you did. All right. Thanks for the question. Good luck with those cables. And uh, wherever you got them, take them back. Ew, don't do that. Talk to you later. Bye.